Vendor Returns Processing. In Acumatica 2018R2, we simplified vendor returns processing and provided additional back-end accounting functionality. For stock items, the system provides an option to back out the original cost of an item as it appears on the inventory receipt. For non-stock items, we added the ability to post accrual transactions prior to processing the AP debit adjustment. In all cases, we made returns processing much easier to use. In this video, we purchase stock items with different cost structures. Acumatica now supports two different accounting paths. If you process the return and base the costs on the inventory valuation, then Acumatica uses the purchase price variance to account for any differences between the price of the items and the current inventory valuation. In the bottom example, if you process the return based on the original cost of the purchase receipt, then the average cost of your inventory changes to keep pace with the changes in your inventory valuation. To demonstrate, I create a new stock item and a new non-stock item. I purchase and receive both of the stock and non-stock items. This generates two transactions. Inventory transactions are linked to the purchase receipt. The non-stock item was immediately expensed while the stock item was added to inventory. AP transactions are available on my vendor bill. The purchase accrual account nets to zero as long as my vendor invoice matches my purchase order. After processing two purchase orders, the average cost of my stock item is $90. To initiate a return, I navigate to my purchase receipt, select the item I want to return, and press the return button. In this example, I only want to return one item, so I modify the quantity. I can also select from a set of predefined reason codes. The reason codes do not impact the general ledger, but help me track and report vendor returns. After processing the return, I can open my debit adjustment. Since the cost of my return was less than the actual money received from the vendor, the system automatically creates a purchase price variance. Next, I repeat the process, but this time I will select the option to return by original receipt cost. This option sets the cost of my return equal to the cost of the original inventory transaction. Once again, I process the return and create a vendor bill that is a debit adjustment. This time, the cost of the inventory adjustment matches the sum of money returned from the vendor, so there is no need for the system to create a variance. When I return to the inventory item, notice that the average cost of my item changes because this amount taken from inventory did not equal the average cost of Non-stock items are treated differently in a few ways. The items are expensed as they are paid, so the inventory asset account is replaced with an expense account. The average cost is set as a standard cost when non-stock items. And when items are returned, the item cost equals the amount of the original price on the purchase receipt. My non-stock item also appeared on two different purchase orders with different unit prices. As I did with my stock items, I can initiate a return by starting with the purchase receipt. In this example, I show another mechanism. I can start by opening the purchase return screen, selecting a vendor, and then looking up my purchase order line. As before, I modify my quantity to return a single unit. When returning non-stock items, the cost is set to the corresponding inventory transaction from the original purchase. If my return was not linked to a purchase receipt, the system would use the standard cost on a non-stock item. The debit adjustment is automatically created. In this case, I selected the accounts payable account, and it's reduced by $80. Since I'm returning a non-stock item, the inventory transaction credits expenses instead of my inventory assets. This video provided an overview of vendor returns and their associated accounting practices. Additional information is available in the 2018 R2 release notes. For more information about Acumatica, visit our website or contact an Acumatica partner. <laughs>